Um, I try to help my team handle the team the best that I can do and you know I get like I said before sometimes I get very agitated because I'm a, I'm a perfectionist and I want everything to, to be really good. Kevin De Brenna is widely regarded as the continental assist king. His greatest asset is his tendency to spread assists with his composure in the final third is incomparable. In addition, he boasts a perfect vision on the ball and can spot passes others can't see. From a player that was incompetent at Chelsea and was sold to Wolfsburg, to a player that was named Premier League Player of the Season twice, the Belgian is the embodiment of all the qualities required to succeed in the midfield of one of the most demanding teams in the world. He is a naturally gifted footballer with superb touch and technique that marks him out as one of the greatest players. What makes him so unique among other players is his creativity, eye for defense splitting passes and crosses, and his ability to play through balls, which provide chances for others in the final third. How did he turn over his career, and what did he do differently? Where did he unleash his creativity and excellent vision? In this video, we're going to learn how Kevin De Brenna proved Chelsea wrong and became a naturally gifted footballer with superb touch and technique that marks him out as one of the best players in Europe, starting from the very beginning. Herwig de Brenna and Anna de Brenna welcomed their first son, Kevin, into the world on June 28, 1991. He was born a white Caucasian, which forms a minority of Belgium's white ethnicity. Herwig de Brenna Sr. is a businessman and intensive negotiator, while Anna took after her father and maintained his oil companies in both Burundi and Ivory Coast. Early on, everyone saw de Brenna as a talented and exceptional boy who was destined for greatness. During his childhood, Kevin frequently visited his mother's relatives in Ealing, England. The family of de Brenna was accustomed to traveling to Africa, where his mother's family oil firm has branches in Burundi and Ivory Coast, and he spent most holidays there. From his mother's side, De Brenna's grandfather is a major oil tycoon in Africa. At the young age of four, little Kevin began playing football in his hometown of Ghent in Drongen, Belgium, where he resided with his parents. He got the game off to a strong start. Since his early beginnings, the Belgian international's career has been rapid. It resulted from two key qualities, first, hard work, and second, determination. Due to his extraordinary commitment to excelling, Kevin De Brenna experienced his first taste of fame. His dedication to his youth club resulted in a lot of success, which was followed by media attention. He was seen as Belgian football's future. Following his spectacular development, scouts from the Belgian youth football organization showed interest. He was wanted by every youth club. Kevin advanced quickly and rose to prominence as one of the nation's top young football players. At the age of 14, Kevin left his home due to a lack of proper infrastructure that could provide wings to his aspirations of becoming a world-class footballer. Even at a young age, he was dedicated to achieving a greater goal. He joined Henks Academy in its youth system and started honing his skills. During his early years at the academy itself, he started gaining media attention and was already a star player in his teenage. He learned how to be self-sufficient at this time. He made friends with a family that looked after him while he was there. Kevin was capable of managing himself at the age of 14. Despite receiving little pay, he managed what he had. Kevin claims, my parents taught me how to manage myself, I don't spend a lot of money in my daily life. I keep it for later when I want to do something, because we don't have a lot of time off. During the season, I am at home, and I'm happy, I have lived alone from the age of 14. Leaving home to pursue his professional career dreams paid off. Now he was too young when he made the decision. For Kevin, it's indeed come a long way in a short time. His grandmother felt for him and visits him often. His hard work finally paid off, and he was selected for the first team squad of Hank in 2008, and made his debut the following year. However, he was only able to establish himself in the team by the next year. The 2010-11 season turned out to be a lucky one for Hank, as they were crowned the Pro League champions. In all the 32 games, 
that he played in the league, he scored 5 goals and 16 assists. In an interview with his youth club, it was revealed that De Brenna was a Liverpool fan and admirer of Michael Owen. In October 2011, Kevin scored his first hat-trick for Henk in a match-winning performance against Club Brugge. He finished the league with 8 goals, which he scored in 28 matches. By January 2012, the English club Chelsea began to inquire about De Brenna. In the winter transfer window of 2012, an agreement was made for the transfer of the midfielder to England. On the deadline day, Chelsea paid around £7 million for De Brenna, who would join the club the following summer. He signed a five-and-a-half-year contract at Stamford Bridge, but would stay at Hank for the remaining of the 2011-12 season. De Brenna told the club website, to come to a team like Chelsea is a dream but now I have to work hard to achieve the level that's necessary. It is pertinent to note that Kevin's grandfather's house in Ealing is just 10 miles from Stamford Bridge. He spent Christmas there as a child. Kevin was part of the Hank team that played Chelsea at a certain Champions League match years ago. Before the match, his family had a special reunion in London. They gathered to watch him play that day. According to Kevin, I loved London from that day. Now my mother has an English mentality, I am fully Belgian. Their decision to collaborate with me made me feel so loved by the family. This was a major reason why I joined Chelsea FC, a club so close to home. On July 18, 2012, in Chelsea's friendly match against Major League Soccer team, Sounders FC, he made his debut in a 4-2 win. De Brenna also played the first half against League One Giants Paris Saint-Germain at Yankee Stadium, in New York. Chelsea announced that De Brenna was to join Weather Bremen, in the Bundesliga on a season-long loan deal on July 31, 2012, to develop his game, and have more first-team experience. He scored his first goal for Bremen in a 3-2 defeat to Hanover, on 15 September, netting from 11 yards out after being assisted by Ilharo Olia. He continued his good form, scoring in Bremen's next game, a 2-2 draw with VfB Stuttgart, on 23rd of September. He got back on the score sheet on 18th of November, scoring the winning goal despite his team being down to 10 men, as Bremen came from a goal down to defeat Fortuna Dusseldorf. After a successful loan spell, in the Bundesliga with Werder Bremen, De Brenner was linked with a move to stay in Germany with either Borussia Dortmund or Bayer Leverkusen. Incoming manager Jose Mourinho, however, assured him he was a part of Chelsea's plan for the future, and the player officially returned to Chelsea on July 1, 2013. In a friendly game against Malaysia just ahead of the 2013-14 season, he injured his knee while scoring a goal. He was however fit before he made his competitive debut in the Premier League against Hull City. In the game that Chelsea won, Kevin assisted in scoring of the first goal for his team, he started in Chelsea's next five games, but was benched from the sixth game. When he confronted Mourinho to ask why he was benched, Chelsea boss Jose Mourinho reportedly said, Kevin, you don't train well. More so, you are emotionally traumatized by your relationship issues. You need to develop patience with life on the bench. Get yourself together, and you won't sit on the bench. The tension between the two could be sensed in the beginning, so much so that it could be cut with a knife. So much so that a poor performance by De Brenna in a League Cup game left Mourinho raging on the touchline. There are a lot of conspiracy theories revolving around on the internet, about the factors contributing to his brief stay in London. But the most enticing one involves his fellow countryman Thibaut Courtois, who betrayed his trust. A lot of rumors say that the current Real Madrid goalkeeper got pretty close to his ex-girlfriend Caroline Leinen, and he slept with her. This caused an emotional disruption in the Belgian's locker room, a relationship which led to Mourinho publicly calling De Brenna crybaby. Following his subpar performance for Chelsea, the team decided to let him go in January 2014 to Wolfsburg. On January 18, 2014, Wolfsburg signed De Brenna for a fee of £18 million. He made his debut for Wolfsburg in a 3-1 home loss against Hanover 96, one week later. On April 12, 2014, De Brenna assisted two goals in their 4-1 home win against FC Nuremberg. After a week he scored his first goal for Wolfsburg in a 3-1 away win against Hamburger SV. 
He also scored in the last two matches of the Bundesliga helping his team to win against VfB Stuttgart and Borussia Mönchengladbach. It seems like the London was not meant for De Brenna, because he immediately found his form back, and was at the same level before signing for Chelsea. On March 12, 2015, Kevin scored two goals in a 3-1 first leg Europa League round of 16 victory over Inter Milan. Three days later, he scored one goal and assisted another two in a 3-0 victory over SC Freiburg. De Brenna ended the league season with 10 goals and 21 assists, the latter a new Bundesliga record, as Wolfsburg finished second in the Bundesliga and qualified for the 2015-16 UEFA Champions League. On May 30, 2015, he started and scored in the 2015 DFB Pokal final, as Die Wulfe defeated Borussia Dortmund 3-1 at the Olympiastadion in Berlin. De Brenna ended his breakout season with 16 goals and 28 assists in all competitions, and was named the 2015 Germany Footballer of the Year. He began the 2015-16 season by winning the 2015 DFL Super Cup against Bayern Munich, providing the Crossford Bender's 89th minute equalizer for a 1-1 draw, and then scoring in the subsequent penalty shootout. On August 8, 2015, he continued his good form by scoring his first goal of the season, and providing two assists in a 4-1 win at Stuttgarter in the first round of the DFB Pokal. After an impressive performance in the Bundesliga, many top European clubs wanted to sign De Brenna. He decides to give the English Premier League a second try, as he always dreams of playing for the bigger club. Manchester City announced the arrival of De Brenna on a six-year contract for a reported club record fee of £55 million on August 30, 2015, making him the second most expensive transfer in British football history after Angel Di Maria's move to Manchester United in 2014. He made his debut for the team in the Premier League on 12 September against Crystal Palace, replacing the injured Sergio Aguero in the 25th minute. On 19 September, he scored his first goal for the club against West Ham United in first half stoppage time in an eventual 2-1 loss. On 2 October, De Brenner was announced as one of the players on the long list for the prestigious FIFA Ballon d'Or award, alongside teammates Aguero and Yaya Toure. Just 18 days later, on 20th of October it was revealed by FIFA as one of the players on the 23-man shortlist for the Ballon d'Or. On 21st of October, he scored an injury time winner against Sevilla in the UEFA Champions League, to take City within one point of group leaders Juventus, with three games remaining. On 1st of December, he scored a brace in a 4-1 win over Hull City, to send Manchester City through to the semi-finals of the Football League Cup. On September 10, 2016, Kevin scored and assisted in the first Manchester Derby of the season which City won 2-1, and was awarded the Man of the Match. On September 17, 2016, he was awarded the Man of the Match, in a 4-0 win over Bournemouth. Scoring the first, assisted the fourth, and provided key passes on both the second and third goals. He displayed an excellent performance in a 1-1 draw against Liverpool at the Etihad Stadium, where he set up a goal for Aguero, on March 19, 2017. He started in the 2018 EFL Cup Final against Arsenal, and played the whole 90 minutes, with Manchester City winning 3-0. To obtain their first piece of silverware of the 2017-18 season, and their first trophy overall under Pep Guardiola. On March 31, 2018, he provided an assist for Gabriel Jesus in a 3-1 win over Everton, ensuring that City would require only one more win to secure the Premier League title. For his 16 assists registered across the league season, winning the inaugural Premier League Playmaker of the Season award, he was also selected in the PFA Team of the Year, and was also voted as Manchester City Player of the Season. He came on as a substitute in the FA Cup Final against Watford, scoring the third goal and assisting two more, as City won the first-ever domestic treble in English men's football. His performances meant he was named Man of the Match. On November 30, 2019, he scored a half-volley in a 2-2 draw against Newcastle in the league. That strike was later voted as Premier League Goal of the Month for November. Kevin scored his 50th City goal in all competitions on February 26, 2020 in their 2-1 victory, coming from behind, over Real Madrid in their Champions League round of 16 clash. In the final Premier League match of the season, 
City beat Narj City 5-0 at home. De Brenna scored two goals, and registered his 20th league assist, which equaled Thierry Henry's record for the most assists in a season, and also won his second Playmaker of the Season award. In addition, he became the first player in history to reach 20 assists in a single season in Europe's top five leagues. His long-range curler in that game also won him Premier League Goal of the Month for the second time in the season. At the end of the season, he was awarded the Premier League Player of the Season after scoring 13 goals, providing 20 assists, and creating 104 chances from open play, the most for a player in any of Europe's top five leagues since 2006. He was also named in the PFA Team of the Year and won the PFA Player of the Year award, becoming the first ever Manchester City player to win it. With his fine performance the following season, he was awarded the PFA Players Player of the Year award for the second time. Kevin De Brenner remains to be a key player in City's squad. With 9 goals and 15 assists in 37 appearances in 2022-2023, he will be looking forward to lifting the Premier League as well as the coveted UEFA Champions League with the Blues. His personality and perseverance on the football field, are something that cannot be taught. It all evolves from the sheer passion for the beautiful game. And this passion is what makes Kevin De Brenna who he is, the best midfielder in the world. It was while playing for Wolfsburg in Germany, in 2014 that he met his wife, Michelle. Kevin and Michelle first got together in 2014 on Twitter, when she favored one of his posts. So, his friend advised him to get along with her, and that she looks nice, which he did. The Belgian soccer player proposed to Michelle in December 2016, at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and the couple got married in Sorrento, Italy, on June 26, 2017. Following the nuptials, Michelle shared a photo of the couple kissing on Instagram with a simple caption, June 26, 2017, while Kevin uploaded a photo of his own and wrote, So proud I can call you my wife now. The couple has three children together. They found out that Michelle was pregnant, with their first child during the transfer window in 2015, and Kevin later described it as an extremely stressful time for the family. Their eldest child, son Mason Millian, was born in March 2016, and their second son, Rome, came in October 2018. In September 2020, Michelle and Kevin welcomed their third child and first daughter, Suri. Michelle supports her husband's soccer career, she is a co-host of the Secret Society podcast, which describes itself as your dose of girl talks on its Instagram page. On the podcast, which is in Dutch, the hosts speak to a variety of Dutch, and Belgian celebrities and creatives. According to the podcast Spotify page, guests have included actress Liz Ferry. She's involved with charity work alongside her husband. De Brenna was capped by Belgium at the under 18, under 19, and under 21 levels. He made his debut for the Belgian senior team on August 11, 2010, in an international friendly against Finland in Turku. The game ended in a 1-0 loss for Belgium. He became a regular member of Belgium's team, during the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign, where he scored four goals as the Red Devils qualified, for their first major tournament in 12 years. On May 13, 2014, he was named to Belgium's squad for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. In their first game of the tournament, against Algeria in Belo Horizonte, he assisted Marwan Fellaini's equaliser and was named man of the match by FIFA. In the round of 16, Belgium's opening goal in the third minute of extra time as they defeated the United States 2-1 was scored by him. On October 10, 2014, he scored twice in a 6-0 rout of Andorra, in UEFA Euro 2016 qualifying, equalising the team's record victory in a European qualifier set in 1986. On September 3, 2015, Brenna scored in a 3-1 win over Bosnia and Herzegovina. One week later he scored in a 4-1 win over Andorra, which secured Belgium's place at the UEFA Euro 2016 finals. Three days later, he scored in a 3-1 win over Israel, securing Belgium's top spot in the group. On May 31, 2016, he was named as part of Belgium's final 23-man squad for UEFA Euro 2016. 
on June 18, 2016, his performance in Belgium's 3-0 win over the Republic of Ireland earned him a lot of praise. On June 26, 2016, he was voted BBC Man of the Match for his performance in a 4-0 win over Hungary in the round of 16, where he provided two assists. De Brenner was selected for Belgium's final 23-man squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. On 18th of June, in the opening game against debutants Panama, provided an assist for Romelu Lukaku in an eventual 3-0 win. On 6th of July, he scored the second goal of the match in a 2-1 quarterfinal victory over Brazil and was named the man of the match. In the semifinals, Belgium was defeated 1-0 by eventual champions France. On 14th of July, Belgium defeated England 2-0 in the third-place playoff. They were knocked out of the 2022 World in Qatar at the group stage level. De Brenna plays as a central midfielder. However, he is also capable of functioning on the flanks. He boasts of exemplary vision on the ball and can spot passes others can't see. He is two-footed, has excellent vision, is a good set-piece taker, and has the confidence in possession needed to be a creative force.